Texas Tech won the toss. They elected to receive. Reginald Davis, number two, is back to return. And Matthew McCrane boots it into the air. We're underway here in Manhattan, and it's Davis from inside the five. And he will be stood up short of the 15-yard line. 14-yard return, but great special teams coverage by Trent Tanking on that tackle. There is Patrick Mahomes. He leads the nation in passing yards per game. Big 12 leader in total offense. We said he was a game-time decision. Well, the decision is he will play tonight. This is a tough kid. You know, if he had any chance to play, he was going to come out here. But a big arm, he's athletic, extends plays, touch on the football. He's got it all, Clay, one of the best quarterbacks in the entire country right here more in Manhattan. First play for the Red Raiders. Quickly get it out to Derek Willies, the Juco transfer from California. Big receiver brought down by Elijah Lee, the reigning Big 12 Defensive Player of the Week. Pickup of about seven, they call it eight yards, second and two. Throwing it again, this time it's Jonathan Giles, sidesteps a tackler and gets a first down. Dante Barnett brings him down. Tech moving the chains. The only team in the nation to score 50 or more in every game this season. They're going to run it with tempo all night. Tackling is going to be an issue. You see out there Barnett with a chance to make the play on Giles out in space. Giles makes a miss and gets the Tech first down. First and 10 from the 26-yard line. Holmes dropping back, now stepping up. Avoids a sack, got rid of it to Sadler. That's Ian Sadler, the sure-handed possession receiver for the Red Raiders. Short of the first down, but it's a gain of eight more. To the 43-yard line. Stopped in the catch, he'll get a chunk of it back. Close to the original line of scrimmage. As Dante Barnett shouldered him out, it's going to be third down and long. We saw earlier on the third down, Mahomes finding his go-to guy, Jonathan Giles. Third and 11 here. This is a great Kansas State third down defense. Texas Tech 52% on the year. That's first in the Big 12. Can they convert on third and 11? Steps up, throws it deep. And that is caught. Lauderdale made the catch inbounds. He is out at the six yard line. What a strike by Mahomes. And again, that shoulder just a week ago took him out of the Kansas game. No ill effects of the shoulder right there. He finds his man, Devin Lauderdale, the speed demon out there on the go route. Patrick Mahomes fires a dart for a big first down. Another third down conversion. 41 yard play, first down goal to go. It's stocked it on the pitch. Turns it up, he'll get a handful. And brought down at the three. Let's go back to the snare. Big throw down the football field. Great job by Devin Lauderdale. Ball over the shoulder. He catches the back end of the football, keeps the foot in bounds for a big Texas Tech first down. He can whip it around a little bit, can he, Clay? <laughs> Man. Sore shoulder, my eye. Mahomes fakes the handoff. He'll trot it in himself. Touchdown, Texas Tech. Now that was a salty drive by the number one offense in the Big 12. Very impressive. They cap it off with a little bootleg play action. No one's home. And Patrick Mahomes walks into the end zone for a Texas Tech touchdown. It's exactly the way Texas Tech scripted it. I wanted to come out and set the tone for this football game with an opening drive touchdown. Fifth rushing touchdown this year for Patrick Mahomes. Clayton Hatfield comes on for the extra point. And he's got it. 7 nothing Texas Tech. 14 plays, 85 yards. Patrick Mahomes good to go. Short kick from Hatfield. And 
and it's Dominique Heath. And Kansas State, good field position across the 30. Stopped at the 34-yard line. That's where Jesse Ertz and the offense will go to work for the first time. Jesse Ertz was not sharp in Morgantown last week. 10 for 30 for 166 with an interception and a rushing touchdown. Too many late checks, as you talked about, and some faulty progressions. Bill Snyder wants to see better stuff from him today. Felt like he had made steps forward early on the first four games of the season. Made a step backwards last week in Morgantown, West Virginia. So all eyes on Jesse Ertz's CI response here at home against this Texas Tech Red Raider defense. Charles Jones starts in the backfield with Ertz. First down from the 34-yard line. It's Jones straight ahead. And this is what Kansas State does. They're going to run the football certainly a lot more than Texas Tech. Jordan Brooks, middle linebacker, makes the stop after the five-yard game. And this is an opportunity for them to get the running game back going. Average under three yards a carry a week ago. Texas Tech has had some holes, some issues with that rush defense so far this year. You got to think Kansas State looking to pound the rock here tonight. This is Jones. First down. Third year is the Cats' primary running back. He's one of our impact players, Dustin. Yeah, he is. And you saw right there the patience. It's a downhill runner, runs behind his pads. Tough, physical football player. And he'll also line up as a Wildcat quarterback. And then how about the true freshman, Jordan Brooks, 20. Be your middle linebacker from Houston. Great size at 240 pounds. Runs all over the field. Leads this team in tackles as a true freshman. Going to be integral to stop this Kansas State rushing attack here today. Here's Jones again. Good run. Picks up eight. We're here in Manhattan, the third Big 12 game of the day on ESPNU alongside Dusty Dvorak on Clay Matvick. And the Red Raiders of Texas Tech have the number one offense in the league. The Wildcats, the number one defense. Patrick Mahomes did play. At the start of this football game, got the start despite a sore shoulder, and he led Texas Tech on a 14-play touchdown drive to start this game that covered 85 yards. Very impressive. He was. He was sharp. He was accurate. You saw him manipulating the pocket, stepping up, finding guys, converting two third and long situations, and boy, if there's any ill effects on the shoulder, we didn't see it on the opening drive for Texas Tech. There's Patrick Mahomes. Leads the Big 12 in total offense. Leads the nation in passing yards per game. It was 8 of 10 on that opening drive. Now Jesse Ertz in the Kansas State offense trying to convert on third and five for midfield. Plenty of time. Still looking downfield. Now in trouble. Got it away and complete. Caught at the 40-yard line by Byron Pringle. But there's a couple of penalty flags down. Personal foul, roughing the passer. The fix. Head to the head of the quarterback. 15 yard penalty. Automatic first down. That's on the defensive end, Chris Williams. You know, and right here, no rush whatsoever from Texas Tech. Initially, good coverage down the field. They only rush three, and nobody gets there, allowing the receivers time to get open down the field. And Jesse Urch just stays alive, fights, delivers a nice football there to extend the drive. And, to compound a problem, you see right there, hands to the face by Chris Williams to get the personal foul, roughing the passer to tack on 15 more. So first down and 10 from the 24-yard line now for Kansas State on their opening offensive series. It's Charles Jones, the running back, with a good run. First down to the 12-yard line. 16 carries last week, but only 53 yards in the loss to West Virginia. But he's looked sharp here in this opening series. Yes, he has. And, you know, right there, Charles Jones doing a great job off the left side. The center, Reed Navarre, opening up a nice hole. And a big game on first down for the Wildcats. Checked by Jesse Ertz as the play clock is inside 10. That was a real problem spot for him last week in Morgantown. Completes the pass. Isaiah Zuber leaning out for the pylon, and he got it. Touchdown, K-State.
A nice response by the Wildcats after the Texas Tech score. See Zuber right here. He extends the football. Foot is in. Looks like he's in there, partner. I agree with you. Nice answer right there from the Kansas State Wildcat offense after the Texas Tech opening touchdown drive. They love his athleticism, the freshman from Stone Mountain, Georgia. The second receiving touchdown of the year. And here's Matthew McCrane to tie the game at seven. We've had an entertaining start to this game in the Big 12. Texas Tech seven, K-State seven. Past the midway point of the first quarter, Kansas State has tied this game up at seven. Isaiah Zuber with an athletic catch and dive for the end zone. He's Dusty Dvorak. I'm Clay Matvick. The number one offense in the Big 12 against the number one defense in the Big 12. We'll see what gives here tonight. The big question all week was, is Patrick Mahomes going to play for Texas Tech? Well, we've got our answer. Not only did he play, he showed up, and he was 8 of 10, and he was flawless on that opening drive. No ill effects from the shoulder. He looked good so far. He does have a daunting task going against the best defense in the Big 12. So, so far, so good. We'll see exactly uh, what's in store for the rest of the evening. And Kansas State back at home after a letdown last week at West Virginia where they blew a 13-point fourth quarter to lead. But a good response after the Texas Tech touchdown to even this one up. Red Raiders start this series from the 25. DeMarcus Felton in the backfield, but throwing again as Mahomes is complete to Cantrell. And at the 30-yard line, Duke Shelley makes the stop. This defense for Kansas State is fourth nationally. 240 yards per game allowed. They could play well tonight, Dusty, and still give up twice that much. It's just what the Texas Tech Red Raider offense does. Biggest key tonight, tackling out in space. That's play fake. And it's picked off by D.J. Reed. He's going to take it to the house. Touchdown, Kansas State. A pick six for the Wildcats. Great play right there by D.J. Reed. Sees it the whole way. Breaks on the football. Man, big play for Kansas State. The play action pass, he's gonna flip it outside real quick. DJ Reed undercuts the route, reads it the whole way, takes it the distance to the house. For another Wildcat touchdown. Turnovers has been a huge thing for this Wildcat defense so far this season. Tenth takeaway for Kansas State, and it's 14 to seven. Fourth interception thrown by Mahomes this year. D.J. Reed capitalizes, and it's a touchdown lead for the home team. A cool tradition at Bill Snyder Family Stadium. It's an almost two decades old tradition. Harley Day. About 100 bikes come in before the game. Make a lap around the field, get the crowd juiced up. And this certainly got the crowd juiced up. D.J. Reed with an interception return for a touchdown. 35 yards to the house in Kansas State. Leads for the first time tonight. Thirtieth consecutive sellout here in Manhattan, and again Texas Tech will start at the 25-yard line. Let's go. Play clock running down at Texas Tech. They got it off. Mahomes to the air, as they want to do. Caught at the 34-yard line, short of the first down marker by Dylan Cantrell, and Duke Shelley bumped him out. He's second down and short. Are they going to give him the first down? Yeah, he got it. They move the sticks again. You know, Kansas State, they're in nickel about 75% of the time anyway. They're going to be in it more than that probably tonight as Felton gets the run here for a couple of yards. Tom Hayes is the defensive coordinator. He's had the task of game planning for this Texas Tech offense all week. Yeah, but you know what? Kansas State, they do what they do, right? I mean, they're a quarters team. They don't run a lot of that. We saw Mixon some cover two right there. It's the same look on the outside, so the quarterback doesn't know it. But very effective here early on for the Kansas State defense and the defensive coordinator, Tom Hayes. Second and eight. Pressure coming off the edge. Stockton got it. Maybe a yard as Elijah Lee, the reigning 
Big 12 Defensive Player of the Week made the stop. This guy was all over the field a week ago in Manhattan. 14 tackles, had an interception, a tackle for loss, long, rangy, sideline to sideline linebacker. Bill Snyder told us yesterday he's not even playing his best football yet. The ceiling's <laughs> even higher for the junior linebacker who I expect to be playing on Sundays. Yeah, he could play better, said Bill. Yeah. <laughs> That's a compliment, though, from Bill Snyder. It really is. Here comes the blitz from the Wildcats. Mahomes better get rid of it. Does. And it's a strike for a first down. QT gets loose in the secondary. Inside the 20, he could go. Touchdown. No penalty flags. <laughs> 61-yard touchdown catch and run for Kiki QT. First quarter. Self-inflicted penalty. Going to set Kansas State up with what you would think good field position here after the kick. Here's Clayton Hatfield for the extra point. And we're tied up in Manhattan. It is the 17th touchdown drive under well, two boy, minutes. You want to quit worrying about an interception for a touchdown? Find your guy, Kiki QT. Let him do the rest with the wheels. As he finds Pater, we're not enough here in Manhattan. You mentioned the good field position, Dusty. And the up man takes it to the 40-yard line for Kansas State. That was Will Davis. A respectable 45% on the year on third down for the Wildcats. Three-step drop, pumps. Still looking downfield. Ertz now, he's going to retreat. Finds a lane, gets around one of his own men. First down and a whole lot more inside the 40. Down at the 37-yard line. This is what he does best, Clay. When everything breaks down, utilizing his athleticism, nothing's down the field. He buys himself some time. And then he just says, let's go. And a big game right there on third and 14. Jesse Ertz utilizing the athleticism and a big game right there for the Wildcats. His right ACL has been injured twice. At times you'd never know it. That's a 27-yard pickup. Leading rusher for Kansas State, Jesse Ertz, a junior out of Burlington, Iowa. He wants to throw here. In and out of the hands of Deontay Burton, the veteran from right here in Manhattan. Second down and 10. Receiver's got to help him out there, Clay. A little play action pass. Hits Burton on the slant. Can't hold on to it. Pass delivered right where you want it to be. In his numbers. Just can't bring in the catch. Kansas State looking for its first quality win of the year. Came close last week in Morgantown. Jones, good run. A lot of daylight down to the 11-yard line. Keyshawn Allen, another big tackle in the open field to keep Jones out of the end zone. It's a gain of 27. Big hole right here off the right side. They pull the guard in the center. They get out in front. Nothing but daylight right there for Charles Jones as he takes it down to the Texas Tech 11-yard line. Run fits have been a real issue, Clay, for this Texas Tech Red Raider defense. Out of gaps, and big chunk plays on the ground. We've seen against Arizona State, Louisiana Tech, and here again for the Wildcats. Hurts complete to Zuber. Tiptoes along the sideline, and he's out at the four-yard line. Yeah, Texas Tech last in the Big 12 in total defense, allowing 473 per game. That's 111 out of 128 FBS teams. How does it get better for David Gibbs' team? Well, David Gibbs told us it's about they got to get some better players. They got to recruit better. They got to coach them up better. Everybody's got to do a better job on this team. They got better last year. Turnovers went from 15 to 25 under David Gibbs. That's a staple of what he does. But so far to this point, they have not lived up to the expectation he had. When he took the job in love. Big 12's best offense against the best defense. Something's going to give here tonight. After one, we're tied at 14 in Manhattan, Kansas. 
Clay Matvick and former Sooner Dusty Dvorak back here in Manhattan, Kansas. Entertaining first quarter as we get ready here for the second quarter. Winston Dimmel is going to run the Wildcat, number 38. He's their fullback. Second down and three for Kansas State. He's a battering ram at 6'1", 235. He might get a yard and a half there. Third down. That's one of the best red zone offenses in the country, Clay. When they get in this area, they come away with points every single time this season. You mentioned Winston Dimmel right there in the Wildcat. Does a little bit of everything. Play some full black, some Wildcat. He's in a running back right now. He has to. He's the son of the offensive coordinator, Dennis Dimmel. He better do it all. Got to be versatile. Because he's going to hear from him when at home, if not. Third down and one. Play clock winding down. They get it off. Burtz is going to throw to the end zone through the hands of Dominique Heath. It was covered well by Jashan Johnson. So now fourth down, and we'll see what Dana Dimmel, Bill Snyder decide to do here. They're going to take their points, right? I mean, in this spot, at home. Oh, Dana's not happy. No, he's not. Ball over the outstretched hands of Pringle, the go-to receiver right there on the outside. We saw a little bit of this last week, Clay. Third. Third and short, we saw him throwing it second short. Staple of what Kansas State does, power football. Got away from it last week. Yeah, got away from it right there on third and one. Here's a 20-yard attempt for Matthew McCrane, who missed the potential game winner last week. Gets it done here to put Kansas State back in front 17 to 14. Here's Nick Shimanick, who in a quarter and a half last week after Mahomes went out, threw for 271 and four touchdowns and Mahomes got four touchdown passes at almost 300 yards before he got hurt so it was quite a day against the Jayhawks defense this is Reginald Davis for Texas Tech finds some open space and gets out across the 30 good return down to the 32 yard line Physically gifted, built like a linebacker at 6'3", 230. Well, he's got all the tools the NFL scouts look for for the next level. They'll throw it to the outside here, Cantrell. And where are they going to spot it? Right at the marker. They're going to move the chains. First down after the 10-yard catch. Dylan Cantrell. Just that throw there from the far hash all the way to the other sideline. Throws it on a rope to his receiver, Cantrell, for a tech first down. He and Cantrell went to the same high school in White House, Texas. And that's Felton on the run. Patrick Mahomes, the son of former Major League pitcher Pat Mahomes, was playing baseball, but this spring gave it up to concentrate on football. Good move because he's going to make some money in this game. He is going to make some money and allow him to be fully dedicated to football, be around the guys in the springtime, and boy, it sure paid dividends so far early on in this season. Checking here at the line, getting the play that he wants. The receivers to the right. Mahomes is looking that way. He'll throw that way. Coming back is Cantrell again. You can tell they played together in high school. There's some chemistry there. No question. Big target at six foot three. Typically a guy they like to throw the goal, the deep balls to, guy that can go up and get it, but right there on the comeback, easy pitch and catch for Patrick Mahomes and Dylan Cantrell. Cantrell missed the entire season last year with a back injury. I'm happy to have him back. Here's a receiver pass, and it's a good one. Caught by Quentin White, the running back, on the throw from Cameron Batson. The razzle dazzle here. Play. Just throw the screen out there to the wide receiver. And they send Quentin White out of the backfield to the pass from Batson. 25 yard reception for the senior from College Station. Now here's Stockton. A gain of one. Let's go back to the receiver pass. You'll see it here. A little screen. Batson sets up and he finds Quentin White out of the backfield. A very effective play right there from Texas Tech. Batson throwing like a quarterback out there, Clay. And Jonathan Giles, a former high school quarterback, too, he can uh, do the same thing, so they got some weapons in that regard. Check it again here. Second and nine. 
in the K-State 20. They hand it out to Felton on the draw. Kansas State was pretty much ready for it. You talked about the Tech running game. DeAndre Washington rushed for over 1,000 yards in the last two years. Hard running back to replace. He is. You know, playing for the Oakland Raiders now. Had 240-plus yards against this Kansas State defense a year ago. A back-to-back 1,000-yard -back rusher for Texas Tech. They haven't found that guy to supplement his ability to rush the football for this Tech offense so far this year. The Red Raiders perfect on third down so far. Four for four. They need the 11. Mahomes flushed out. Wow, nice move. First down, touchdown! Patrick Mahomes, a 16-yard run. And that's what this team would have missed if he didn't play tonight. Talk about his ability to, to throw the football over the yard. He has all those tools. Also, a gifted athlete, too. They brought the blitz. Moore has him right there. He evades it right there. Slips Jordan Willis and skates into the end zone for a second rushing touchdown of the night for Patrick Mahomes. The total package, Clay, can throw it, can run it, cool, calm, collected, under pressure, as Kansas State brought the blitz and he made them pay. Hatfield's extra points, and Texas Tech regains the lead, 21 to 17. Well, Patrick Mahomes running this offense, and it's looking good. They've already racked up nearly 270 yards. Still getting it done here in Manhattan. How much longer, though? We uh, we'll have to wait and see. There's Byron Pringle on the return for Kansas State. And he's brought down across the 25-yard line for 27. Bill Snyder, the oldest active head coach in the country, his eighth season back here in Manhattan since retiring in 2009. He considered retiring after last year. He probably is going to consider it after every season. Right. When will that time come? Dustin? Oh, boy, if I had a crystal ball, I'd love to tell you. But I think only that man right there knows. And he said he doesn't allow it to get in his way during the season. You know, obviously, people ask him about it. We referenced it to him yesterday. But he's willing to put that aside, focus on this season, this team, how it needs to get better. And after the year, he'll sit down and address that. But after the fifth penalty against Texas Tech, it's Jesse Ertz on the run. Another big run for the Kansas State quarterback. First down into Tech territory, and he is out at the 46-yard line, a run of 21 for the junior from Iowa. There is Sean Snyder. He is the special teams coach in his 22nd year, and he's had the number one special teams unit in the country several times under his watch, including last year. Is he potentially Kansas State's next head coach? Well, I'm sure Bill Snyder would love for that to be the case. Uh, you know, I just, I don't know. Hasn't been a coordinator uh, on the offense or defensive side, strictly a special teams guy. So hey, you never know exactly what the administration is going to decide to do when Bill hangs it up. I'd probably be surprised if he is the guy, though. you got to think Bill Snyder would love to see his son take over for him here in Manhattan, Kansas. You know what happened the last time? Bill Snyder left this program. It just went completely dark again. And then he comes back and he builds it right back right. up again. And I just wonder if the next head coach is going to have that kind of touch whenever that time comes. After that Dalvin Warmack run of a couple yards, it's second down and eight. Under 10 minutes to go here before halftime. That play clock winding down at Kansas State. Get it off, it's Warmack spinning his way toward the line to gain, and he got it first down. Dalvin Warmack, the red shirt freshman, he has really looked good at times this year. Like that run right there, it's a zone to the left. Blocking wasn't there, the cutback, the vision, cuts it all the way back, and then the spin move right there on the true freshman linebacker, Jordan Brooks, for a Kansas State first down. Wormack's got that speed, that vision, and the ability to be a quality running back here for Kansas State. First down. Passing. Nice catch. Deontay Burton took a bump but held on for the 12-yard gain. They'll move the chance. Everything about that looked good, Clay, from the pass protection to the route that Burton ran right there on a slant, and the ball delivered right there on the money. Nice job by Burton catching the football, taking the hit, and moving the chains for the Kansas State offense. You see Ertz now four of seven. Yeah. 
checking the play. Get it off in plenty of time. Warmack. And they're going to take a loss here. It's going to bring up second down. The reason we've been talking so much about that play clock, Dusty, some fans may not remember last week, Kansas State used four timeouts to avoid delay of game last week. They also got flagged for it once and had two illegal substitutions. There were some real issues when it came to that. Yeah, and it cost them at the end of the game as West Virginia was able to run the clock out after a missed field goal. No timeouts to stop the clock. They've worked on it all week and so far so good for the corrections made by Jesse Ertz and his Kansas State offense. And that looks good too. Byron Pringle, a first down reception inside the 10-yard line. It's a gain of 16, and it's first down, goal to go. With Byron Pringle becoming a big part of this offense the last couple of weeks. Jesse Ertz looks the other direction, looks the safety off, knows where he's going the whole time, and he comes back to Byron Pringle once again on a slant. Middle of the field open right now for his Texas Tech Red Raider defense. Design run hurts. And he'll give maybe a yard. Last week, Kansas State had only one touchdown. They had four field goal attempts, and of course, the one that they needed, they missed. But it appears that this offense clicking a little bit better, especially in the red zone here so far. Yes, they are. Held up uh, last possession on a third and one. They weren't able to convert. They take the points, but uh, the opening drive they had, they cash in, and obviously here looking for seven against this Tech offense. Threes aren't going to be good enough to play. There's Warmack again. To the five, so now third down and goal to go. Devontae Hinton, the weak side linebacker, made the stop. Back-to-back -back nice tackles by Devontae Hinton. Live defender out there for Texas Tech, flying around out there, undersized. 5'9", about 220 pounds, but has a nose for the football. Had an issue staying healthy so far this year, but when he's been on the field, been an impact player and a good tackler for this Tech defense so far. Charles Jones checks back in. The backfield with Ertz. Ertz looking toward the end zone. It is caught, leaning out toward the goal line is Burton, but they're going to mark him short. About a half yard short. Fourth down and goal to go. The offensive line wants him to go for it. I got to imagine with Winston Dimmel, Charles Jones, some of the guys they have for Kansas State, it's go time. Nice route run by Burton, an option route, catches it. He extends the football. Boy, I think he got there. Man, that, that is close. So now Kansas State facing a fourth down and goal. They're going to go for it. Burks on the keeper. No indication yet. There it is. Touchdown, Kansas State. It's a simple quarterback sneak, but it's a full house backfield in the back, and they're going to give the quarterback several nudges to make sure that he crosses the goal line <laughs> for the Wildcat touchdown. Look at Winston Dimmel churn. Look at him. He's going to make sure he crosses over. No question. Jesse Ertz at the bottom of that pile as they unstack the bodies, laying in the end zone. And McCrane with the extra point. You got to give Dimmel an assist on that. Just like a hockey game. 24-21, <laughs> Kansas State regains the lead. It's just a gorgeous night here in Manhattan as the sun goes down. 24-21, Kansas State leading with 543 to go before halftime. He's Dusty Dvorak, former Oklahoma Sooner. I'm Clay Mapford. Short kick. Crane. Texas 
said can't take advantage of it. Second and 13, Mahomes uncorks one into Kansas State territory. It's caught by QT. A sophomore from Lufkin, Texas. A big strike. 39 yards. QT beats the safety and coverage right there for a big game. Texas Tech. There's Cantrell again, four more. It's the post right here by QT. Gets behind Elijah Lee in front of the safety, Kendall Adams. He's like Sunday morning for Patrick Mahomes. He's already got 248 through the air. Eight yards of total offense for Texas Tech. Mahomes slings it out. QT again makes a nice catch, and he's got the first down. Gain of seven for Kingsbury's team. They're moving the football again. They spot it at the 33 quickly over the ball. It's Mahomes complete to Reginald Davis. A senior wideout. When they want to go fast, they go fast. Referees really get the ball down and spotted. As Texas Tech up, throwing the football. It's the air raid. Number one in points, passing offense, total offense. We're under four minutes to go before half. Second and five. Easy toss on the crossing route to Davis. And looking for that first down line. Got it. And then he's spun down by Geary. How is this version of the air raid different from the way Mike Leach used to do it? This is more play action. That play we saw right there, that's more of a Mike Leach play. Shallow crossers, a lot of crossing routes, allowing things to develop. Now, with Cliff Kingsbury, they've implemented more play action pass, a lot of stuff on the perimeter, quick outs, bubbles, balls out even quicker than it was under Mike Leach. Still some of the same principles, but Cliff Kingsbury's got his own spin to it here in Lubbock these days. Play fake. Comebacker Lauderdale sidesteps a tackle, works it ahead for about three or four yards. And it's Donnie starts the nickel back, making the stop. I'll tell you, this Texas Tech offensive line has done a great job tonight protecting Patrick Mahomes. I thought coming into the game, Kansas State would have a decided advantage with their pass rush and their defensive line. Whether it's the quick tempo, the quick throws, it alleviated much pressure. Put on Patrick Mahomes here tonight. You thought that was a real advantage yeah. for Kansas State tonight. But right so side far, they're holding it up. Yeah, right side of the tech line showed issues on film. But so far tonight, they played well. Second and six, Mahomes hopping. Rolling out. Under pressure. Throws it short to Cantrell. Incomplete. So third down and six coming up. Clock stops with 2.39 to go before halftime. Both teams have all their timeouts remaining. Nice coverage down the football field right there. Mahomes trying to buy some time for his receivers. Nothing's open. Setting up third and long. Haven't seen much pressure from Kansas State tonight. Be an opportune time for this man, Jordan Willis. Tech is perfect on third down. They're five for five. Ninth play of the series. Cantrell, a bobbling catch. First down, Texas Tech. How did he hold on to that? Excellent concentration right there by Cantrell. Bobbling as he gets hit, holds on to the football for the Texas Tech first down. Mm. Ten different Texas Tech receivers have caught passes tonight. Mahomes now 279 through the air. We still have two minutes to go before the half. Inside handoff to Felton, cuts it up. Good run. Almost made his way to the end zone. Tripped up at the four-yard line. It's an outside zone. Nice cut right there by Felton. DJ Reed able to get a paw on him. Hit the running back down. And Mahomes with the fake. And he just waltzes in untouched. And Texas Tech scores again. His third rushing touchdown here in the half. Boy, he sold that. Zone read, 
Got the look that he wanted. The defensive end comes inside, and Patrick Mahomes walks into the end zone for another Texas Tech touchdown here in the first half. Mahomes with 18 passing touchdowns coming into the night. Well, he's been doing it on the ground here yeah. in Manhattan so far. Three rushing touchdowns. And Clayton Hatfield with the extra point as Tech goes back in front. It's a four-point lead. Well, if you like quality quarterback play, one of the best in the country on display, a little zone read. It's Patrick Mahone strolls into the end zone for another touchdown. Tennessee's been playing with fire all year. And when you play with fire, what happens? At some point, you're going to get burned. They get burned today. Seven turnovers on the road. The fact that they were in that game seems almost impossible. Did not complete another improbable comeback there in College Station. Congrats to Kevin Sumner, Trevor Knight, 6-0 this season to start the year. Byron Pringle on the return. It's a good one for Kansas State. Pringle. No flags. Touchdown. Ninety-nine yards. Dusty, he was the GOAT last week for Kansas State. Drops a touchdown the corner of the end zone in the third quarter, which would have given Kansas State a 17-point lead. And boy, does he make amends right there with a big kick return to the house. Excellent walking down the field. And Byron Pringle, and a go-to guy for Jesse Ertz, and now takes it to Pater on the kickoff. Kansas State special teams. We talked about it already tonight. Always very good. And the first half goes to Kansas State, certainly, and it was an entertaining one. Very entertaining first half, and you can tell, just like you said, Clay, this game may be early October, but huge implications here in the Big 12 for bowl purposes and much, much more. A lot of offense. Kansas State with the lead, 31-28. We now go to the halftime studio report. Brendan and Buck. Kansas State's Byron Pringle. A 99-yard kickoff return for a touchdown just ahead of half. That's the difference in this football game right now. 31-28 Wildcats. 536 yards combined total offense in that first half. Five lead changes. Dusty Dvorak and Clay Matvick getting ready for what should be an exciting second half here in Manhattan. You know, the question leading up to this game all week Will Patrick Mahomes play quarterback for Texas Tech? Hurt his shoulder last week. Well, we got our answer, and he's been good so far. He hasn't just played. He's excelled yes. here tonight. Over 300 yards passing against this Kansas State defense. He threw for 540 and five touchdowns at Arizona State in that loss. Uh, he could have those kind of numbers again here tonight. Kansas State will start with the football. There is Pringle again. Good field position for the Wildcats to start the third quarter. So Texas Tech, as we've known, I mean, it's been the question mark for so long there in Lubbock. Yeah. Can they get some stops? Can they play defense? We didn't see it in the first half. David Gibbs, surely, getting them ready here for the second. This is Charles Jones. That's a good start for that Red Raider defense. As Colin Hill, the transfer from Notre Dame, makes the stop. That's going to be a loss of one. Defensive line right there playing on the other side of the football. Nice penetration. By Colin Hill, the Notre Dame transfer, making a play. Andre Pipkins in there, the nose tackle. Went in the line of scrimmage there on first down out of the half. Pipkins, a Michigan transfer. Got some guys that have found a new home in Lubbock. That was right on the hands of Burton, but slips through. Good coverage by Paul Banks. We missed the first four games of the season, a team suspension. He's back, and that's a good play. Excellent coverage right there. You see him engage the receiver, the ref, the, the crowd wanted a flag. I'm glad they let him play. Gets that hand in there to nullify the reception by Mr. Burton. Paul Banks stepping up, making a play on defense. That's Dusty Dvorak, former defensive player, in case he didn't pick up on that. <laughs> All the rules <laughs> skewed to the offense, Clay. Every now and again, you, you know, are it's right. nice when the defense is the beneficiary of the call. You're right about that. There's pressure, Ertz. Three men in his face, got the pass off to Charles Jones, the running back. 
coming back. He'll snare it for a gain of six yards, but it's fourth down. Well, whatever David Gibbs said at halftime, it sure paid off yeah. here in the opening drive. Said Texas Tech's defense needs a stop. They come up with it. A little pressure on Ertz. Get in the roll outside the pocket. Fire the check down to the running back, Charles Jones, but well short of the first, first down. And coming out for the first time, Nick Walsh, third-year punter for Kansas State. Cameron Batson lets it roll behind him, and it goes into the end zone. 58-yard punt, touchback. There's Texas Tech AD Kirby Hocutt. Kansas State grad, former linebacker for Bill Snyder 25 years ago, but now at Texas Tech, and he's in his first year as chairman of the college football playoff committee. Question for you, Desi, can the Big 12 recover from what has been a poor season so far and get a team in the college football playoff? I'm going to say no. I think it's going to be too tough. You know, Baylor, West Virginia still undefeated. But as you look at the Big 12, since they've gone to 10 teams and they've played the round-robin schedule, no team has gone undefeated. And when you look at this season, a lot of these teams from 1 through 6, 7, they're very close. So I think this could be a year where you could have a two-loss Big 12 champion. And I'll tell you, with some of the non-conference losses and some of the teams that, like a Baylor play, I think it's going to be too difficult to get a team in the college football playoff for the Big 12 this year. Outside looking in is the way I see it. Kiki QT with a 20-yard reception. Best starting field position for Tech here tonight. And they're quickly into Kansas State territory. Yeah, Baylor and West Virginia really the best hope now. They are, but when you look at Baylor, they're on a bye this week. And he's complete, another first down, Davis. And he's knocked out of bounds. Here's the remaining schedule for Baylor and for West Virginia. I mean, look how tough it is. At Texas Tech for West Virginia, TCU at Oklahoma State. They got to go to Austin. You still got to play Oklahoma and Baylor. On the other side, Baylor, after the game against Kansas, they get six of the toughest teams in the Big 12. I just think it's too tough a sledding, too tough a road for either of those teams to go unscathed. And I don't see a chance that a team with a loss from the Big 12 will get in the college football playoff. First playoff rankings will be revealed November 1st on ESPN. That's quickly approaching. Inside the 20 already is Texas Tech. Doesn't take them long. Second down and four after that Davis reception again. There's seven minutes to go here in the third. That pass snagged by Cantrell using that 6-3 frame to make the grab. Duke Shelley with the stop. Third down and short. Well, Cantrell's been impressive tonight. Yep. Catching the football with his hands. Knew he was a big target for Patrick Mahomes, but boy, he's showing a great job catching the football, extending drives. Oh, big third down for this Kansas State defense. He converted eight out of ten times on third down tonight. Play clock goes to five. Got it off with one second to spare. And it's a Kansas State stop. Fourth down and one. And again, Kingsbury is facing a situation here. What does he do? I take my points. I told you earlier I would have taken the points. I take the points here. As we see the Texas Tech field goal unit trotting out. Maybe he learned his lesson. Didn't go last time. Didn't listen to you last time, Dusty. And they fail. Well, you're in a three-point ball game here on the road. You take these points when you can get them. You're in a dogfight. Here comes Clayton Hatfield. Three for four with a long of 43 on the year. This from 35. I'm going to say actually 34. For the tie. Bingo. 31 apiece with 5.17 to go, third quarter in Manhattan, Kansas. Now, you got to take another look. They don't have any chance now. Being a group of five team with a loss. I know that they felt great about that win against Oklahoma. It was nice, but tough loss today against the midshipmen. All right, Kansas State gets the football back. We're tied at 31 with 5.11 to go here in the third quarter. That was Navy's first win against a top 10 team since 1984. Here comes Jesse Ertz. He is 7 of 14 passing. Just 67 yards. He's been better on the ground than through the air. 
So now great field position for Kansas State. In fact, their best of the night to start a series. There's that play clock rolling down. They get it off. Jones picking away and gets close to the 40-yard line of the Red Raiders. We have not seen a play clock issue like we saw last week for Kansas State. It seems like they've cleaned that up. They have. They spent all week working on it. They said, if we get in a situation where the clock is under 10, Jesse, Ertz, the quarterback, it's on you. Run the play. Get the snap off. No checks allowed. It's worked to perfection here tonight. Now Ertz will climb under center. Reed Niver. Jones, that's a good run. And it looks like he's going to have it. They got it. First down. Charles Jones, tough, hard nosed runner. Always liked the way he runs behind his pads. He's got patience to wait for his blocks to be set up. Right there, just lowers the shoulder. Fights for the first down. 155 on the ground for K-State tonight. They stick with Jones. Another solid run. They'll move him again. Down to the 25-yard line. A gain of a dozen for Jones. Just off the left side right there. Zone play. They get the guard the center out in front nice job of blocking the tackle Reisner up on the second level good cut good patience by Charles Jones they go with the hot hand but this time Andre Pipkins is ready for him that'll be a loss of a yard or two on the play you saw the stat there just a second ago almost seven yards per carry tonight remember last week under three in Morgantown so the run game for Kansas State has looked pretty good and that's going to do it for the third quarter. This one is going to be decided in the final 15 minutes. 31 apiece in this big game in the Big 12 for Texas Tech and Kansas State. Back in Manhattan in a moment. Clay Matvick and former Sooner Dusty Dvorak ready for the fourth quarter here in Manhattan. Dare I say this has been a defensive second half so far just three points since halftime we're tied at 31 300 yards total offense more for Texas Tech but it's a tie game second down and 11 from the 26 of the Red Raiders quarterback Jesse Ertz for K-State pointing throwing and caught incomplete Dominique Heath made the catch but he was out of bounds Heath goes up and gets the ball Man, his foot just out of bounds. Unable to get it in. Would have been a huge play for Kansas State. Ball sells wide. Heath can't get the foot in. Third and long. This Kansas State offense. We're already within Crane field goal range. There's Heath again. Penalty flag down. First down if it holds up. Kansas State believes it's going to go against the Red Raiders. Holy. Defense number 17. Penalties declined. Result of the play. First down. The costly penalty against Tech. That's Terry Gima, the corner. Dominique Heath. It's the inside receiver right here. We go to the center of the field. See right there the holding penalty, but he's still able to hold on. Catch the pass. Third, third down for Kansas State. New center downs. They'll run it on first. Jones finds a seam. First down inside the five. Goal to go Wildcats. 13-yard gallop for Charles Jones. Feels like he's gaining steam as this second half goes on. They continue to go to him again over on the left side. They pull the center. He gets out front. He opens it up. Another big run there for Charles Jones. They feed him again. 
touchdown. His second rushing touchdown of the year. First score of the second half for Kansas State. They got the momentum back now. They're running the football. They're getting it going on the ground. We've seen some Jesse Ertz, and that drive was all about one man. Charles Jones getting it done on the ground. Big time drive right there by Kansas State to open up the fourth quarter. Matthew McCrain bangs home the extra point. It's 38-31 Wildcats. Well, it started with a stop on fourth down. Reggie Walker gets the sack of Patrick Mahomes. Fellow Charles Jones. You see him follow his blocks, let him set up. The big run has been so good. Let's go back to it. Charles Jones up the middle for the Kansas State touchdown. Mark Helfrich should maybe his seat's a little hot too at Oregon. Have not been playing well up there in Oregon. Anything shock you there? Houston, of course, going down today. I think Houston losing the Navy. Not many people saw that coming, but great game in College Station. AM finding a way to win in overtime. Here's Patrick Mahomes in the tech offense. Fakes the throw, throws it to the sideline. It's caught by Batson. Cameron Batson hauls it in. To bring up second down and four. Texas Tech the last three drives does the turning it over on downs, kicking a field goal, and turning it over on downs. This offense has sputtered a little bit here in the second half. They give Kansas State a lot of credit defensively, keeping things in front of them, tackling in the open field very well. Demarcus Felton. To bring up third down and short is Elijah Lee. We haven't called his name nearly as much tonight. The Kansas State linebacker was so dominant last week in Morgantown. And there's a hit by guess who? Elijah Lee. A loss of one. It's fourth down. Well, he must have heard you talking about it. Hadn't called his name much. He wanted to give us a reason to call his name. Big third and one stop right there. For a man that's got a nose for the football, Elijah Lee coming downhill and getting the big tackle. Now each team with one remaining. Heath is going to let it bounce. It takes a nice Texas Tech roll to the 21 yard line. Kansas State has it. 12 and a half minutes to go here in Manhattan. Kind of feels like that Kansas State offensive line play starting to pose their will on the front of Texas Tech. Jones has 14 carries, 86 yards, and a touchdown. Throw, Heath. Nice catch and run. Very close to the first down marker. Move the chains. He did get 10 in a first down. Hurts been more efficient tonight throwing the football at about 50%. Bill Snyder's going to be happy to this point. Steps back in the right direction. The young Kansas State quarterback. They run it again with Charles Jones. And he has stood up at the line of scrimmage. Let's look at the quarterback numbers. Again, Patrick Mahomes was a game time decision because of the, the shoulder injury last week. He has put up outstanding numbers, especially compared to Ertz on the other side. But Kansas State has the lead right now and the football. Kansas State's played better defense. They get the special teams touchdown, the defensive touchdown. So while Mahomes may be putting up better numbers, Jesse Ertz's teammates around him. Have played better. He's got Kansas State with the ball and with a seven point lead here in the fourth quarter. Play clock down to two. They get it off. Jones finds some room up the middle. Big first down and much more. The 30, the 25, and taken out above the shoulder pads by Jashawn Johnson. 
as we're going to watch here on the left side. Watch these big guys open up the hole for them. 61 working the center, getting up to the second level. Big hole right there for Charles Jones to get down to the Texas Tech 24. We talked about partner. It's Kansas State offensive line. They're getting a little more push, a little more push, getting up to that second level, sealing off blocks. It's Kansas State rushing attack starting to get going. After the 32-yard gain, it's Warmack who gives Jones a break. He'll get a couple. 126 now on the night for Jones, adding to his career high. A score of any kind in this series would be huge because in this ball game, no team has led by more than seven. In a one-score game the entire evening. Your Kansas State marching right here, to try to take a two-score lead. Flares it out to Zuber. Stays in bounds. He's got the first down inside the 10. Isaiah Zuber. He is very athletic. We've seen that already tonight on that touchdown in the first quarter. We saw the quicks right here. Out in the flat. Makes a man miss. Tight ropes the sideline. Gets inside the 10. Set up first and goal for Kansas State. Zuber, second time on the sideline. Remember the opening touchdown? He stays in. He reached out. Across the goal line and right there. Stays in bounds for a big Kansas State first down. Give him 16 on the play. First down goal to go for the Wildcats. And it's Warmack to the three. Texas Tech defense appears fatigued. They are fatigued. They get pushed around. Fourth quarter. Body gets tired. Kansas State keeps fighting. I think Kansas State going to try to punch this in on the ground. It is Warmack. The time the Red Raiders equal to the task. No gain on the play. Third down, goal to go, Kansas State. A little surprised we didn't see Charles Jones come back yet. Sure, you want to give him a rest, give him a blow after the big run, but had so much success. And he's been the workhorse tonight. 18 carries, 126. As we go under seven minutes to play. It's Winston Dimmel. In the backfield with Ertz as Jones stays on the sideline. Quarterback run game zone read. Very much in play here for Kansas State. Pressure to the end zone. And incomplete Zuber, the intended receiver. Well covered by Justice Nelson. Fourth down. Try to find Zuber on a corner route. It was right there, ball delivered. Zuber goes up to make the play as it hits him in the hand. Give Justice Nelson a lot of credit. That ball would have been caught, but he gets his hand on it, forces the incompletion, sets up the Kansas State field goal. Great coverage right there by the cornerback, Justice Nelson. Matthew McCrane had the game-winning field goal, potentially the game-winner last week miss. He's hit from 20 tonight, from 25, he is good here. And that's a big score, even though it wasn't a touchdown. They tack on three, it's a 10-point game in Manhattan. Well, this game has been interesting from the very start. This is the biggest lead for either team here tonight. It's now 10 for Kansas State. As the offense needs to find a spark for the Red Raiders, here's Reginald Davis on the kickoff return. Gets it to the outside, crosses the 20-yard line. This team can score quickly. Cantrell the catch. Across the 25-yard line, a gain of five. Lee and Willis combine on the stop. That last Kansas State drive, almost six and a half minutes, the longest drive for either team tonight. Mahomes steps up. 
looking for help and now slides down. About a yard short of the first down. Third down for Texas Tech. Maybe the biggest third down they've faced here tonight. And they've been good converting here. Yeah, they have. We saw a third and short in the previous drive. They elected to try to run the football. That gets stopped. Be very surprised here if we don't see the ball in the hands of Patrick Mahomes for potentially a run pass option. Out of their last timeout, third and two. The pitch back to Stockton. He is rolled up at the 20 by Dante Barnett. Fourth down. A loss of 10. Well, this is a guy who came back from last season. He had the shoulder injury. Watch Dante Barnett up at the line of scrimmage. The safety, the sure tackler, up the field. And he makes a big tackle. Well, Kingsbury keeps the offense out there. Fourth and 11. They need the 32. Pressure. Mahomes over the middle. Under throw. It hits Lee in the back. And Kansas State will take over. That ball did not have the zip on it that we saw early. You wonder if the shoulder's starting to bother him. They elect to go for it on fourth and nine. He tries to find Jonathan Giles. The ball really underthrown for Patrick Mahomes. He's got time to throw the football. Steps into it. His go-to target, Jonathan Giles, and hits the backside of Elijah Lee. A poorly underthrown and sets up Kansas, Kansas State in great territory play. They've got it at the 20-yard line. That is the third drive this half for Cliff Kingsbury's team. That ends up being turned over on downs. They're not playing it safe. They keep it on the ground here with Charles Jones. The story in the first half was Patrick Mahomes. The story in the second half is this Kansas State defense. I mean, they just, time and time again, they've come up with stops and held this high powered Red Raider offense in check for almost this entire second half. Very impressive display by the defensive coordinator, Tom Hayes, and his experienced veteran group on defense. Desserts. And he'll take a loss here. Third down coming up. They're easily within the crane field goal range as you look at Tom Hayes, the defensive coordinator. 40 years in coaching, including stops as defensive coordinator at Stanford, UCLA, your alma mater, Oklahoma, and just down the street of Kansas. You know, we were talking with David Gibbs, the defensive coordinator at Texas Tech. He actually G8 for Tom Hayes at Oklahoma back in 91 92. A lot of what he implements and some of the things he does, he learned from Tom Hayes. Hurts is playing it very safe. He stopped short of the line of scrimmage. He's happy to just go down, fourth down, and McCrane will come out to try and make this a 13-point game. The last thing they were going to allow to happen was a turnover be committed. There was no way the ball was going to be thrown there on that drive. <laughs> McCrane says nothing to it. Bangs it home, and it's now 44-31. K-State in the driver's seat here in Manhattan, Kansas. Kansas State has a chokehold on this football game now. We have seen Clint Kingsbury roll the dice a few times here in the second half, going for it on fourth down, and it just hasn't worked out for him. From the 25, Mahomes and Texas Tech running out of time. And he's complete to Felton out of the backfield. More another tackle for Kansas State. We have speculated that probably some fatigue in that shoulder for Mahomes has manifested itself here in the second half. That's a first down grab for Lauderdale. 
and imagine there's some pain there too, some residual pain from that hit he took last week against Kansas. Tough guy just to get out here and play, watching him in warm-ups. There was no doubt in my mind that he'd give it a go. He was lights out in the first half, but cooled off mightily here in the second. Steps into a throw on first down, knocked down nicely by Barnett. But there is a marker. Did he get in too soon? Referee sure thought so. Barnett looking up at the Jumbotron. Pass interference. Defense number 22. First down, it's a spot of the foul. It is on Barnett. Dante Barnett, the senior, the leader of this defense. Yeah, he hooks him a little early. Uh, it's a good call by the official. Barnett doesn't like it, but he got the right arm in there. Again, Texas Tech doesn't have any timeouts remaining. Kansas State, for that matter, out of timeouts as well. Mahomes, complete to Cantrell, slips a tackle. And got the first down. Tiptoeing stays in bounds. 25 seconds to go. The Manhattan faithful still pretty upset with that call on yeah. DJ Reed. They've been lively tonight. Mahomes gets away from the pressure. Got it to Cantrell. Takes a hit, makes the catch at the 14-yard line. With a Kansas State pass rush to get the ears pinned back, they're coming. Patrick Mahomes, nice job there in the pocket, stepping up. Trying to end this night on a positive note. Mahomes backpedaling, throws it to the end zone. Receiver, caught, touchdown. Texas Tech, and it's Cameron Batson hauling it in. With five seconds to go. And credit the Red Raiders for continuing to fight to the very end. Mahomes off his back foot, lobs it up, and allows Cameron Batson to go up and make a play. Pretty good coverage right there by Dante Barnett, but Batson able to come with it in the back of the end zone. Extra point. The lead is six for Kansas State. Patrick Mahomes is trying to buy himself some time. Off his back foot. Just kind of lofts it up. Barnett right there in position. Doesn't get his head around. And nice job in the back of the end zone by Cameron Batson. Ball right over Dante Barnett's head. I'm afraid it's going to be too little too late, but. We've seen some crazy finishes in college football the last few weeks. The hands team here for Kansas State. Here you go, Reg. You have to be sharp. <laughs> Texas Tech has it. They got it. That is Lauderdale. It bounced right to his hands. He falls down in Kansas State territory. Still five seconds on the clock. And Patrick Mahomes and this offense still have a shot. Well, they get what they want. They get the bounce right there. And wow, Devin Lauderdale. Burton doesn't attack the football. He sits there and waits for it. Devin Lauderdale beats him to it. Gives the Texas Tech Red Raiders extra life. Here's a chance. The old Hail Mary at the end of the game. Well, the Kansas State defense is going to send four defensive backs toward the goal line. Actually put four seconds on the clock. Here's the ball game. Willis got a hand on Mahomes. He heaves it. Hit. Incomplete ball game. Sure, Mike UL Moore 
with a big play at the end. Well, they needed pressure on the quarterback. Don't give Mahomes time to get the ball down the field. Good job by Willis. And then Moore gets there for the big hit. Not allowing the ball to have a chance to be caught in the end zone. Kansas State defense once again comes up with a play to win this game. Almost 600 yards of total offense for Cliff Kingsbury's team, but it's a loss in Manhattan. Here's the final play one more time. See Jordan Willis right there with the pressure. Mahomes steps out. And Moore barreling down. Gets his hand on the arm. Ball flutters out of bounds. And Kansas State wins a big one at home. Their first win in Big 12 play. Both teams now 1-1 one and one in the Big 12. 44-38, the final coming up next. UNLV San Diego State. We send you out to Southern California.